In this video, we will cover adding objects to your project and configuring addresses to read and write to registers in your HMI or PLC. There are a number of different objects available in EasyBuilder 5000 that can be used to address registers, but we will only use a few examples to demonstrate how it is done. First, we will create a toggle switch object to set and clear a bit in the HMI, and then create a numeric entry object to write a word to a register. You can choose the toggle switch object from the toolbar or click Objects, Button, and Toggle Switch from the top menu bar. Once selected, the new Toggle Switch Objects Properties window opens, where you can configure the bit that the Toggle Switch object will address and how it will appear on screen. You can give it a name in the description box to help identify it later. The Toggle Switch provides a dual function. It can write to a bit register and read from a bit register. In this case, we will configure the switch to write to and read from the same bit register. It will write to a bit to set or clear it and read the same bit to reflect the state of the bit in the appearance of the switch. In the Read and Write Address sections, you can select Local HMI or the PLC device that the HMI is connected to in order to access the bit register you want to address. We will choose the Local HMI. The Device Type allows you to choose the register, and the Address allows you to select the specific bit in the register. Let's choose LB for local bit and address 25. The system tag checkbox is provided for easy access to the reserved local memory in the HMI. The index register allows you to dynamically change the address assigned to the set bit object by entering an offset value and a reserved local word in the HMI. The switch style drop-down box in the attribute section allows you to choose from a variety of options to determine the operation of the toggle switch object. Choosing toggle will cause it to operate like a normal toggle switch. Press once to set the bit and press again to clear the bit. Next, we will click the Shape tab to configure how the toggle switch object will appear on the screen. Click the Use Shape checkbox to assign a shape to the object. Click the Shape Library button to choose the library from which to select the shape. Let's choose the Push Buttons 1 library and select Shape 3. Since it's not open in the library list yet, Click Select Library and select it from the many libraries that are available in the library folder. We can preview how it will look when the button is pressed by clicking the 0 and 1 state buttons. In addition, we can give the object a label to describe what it is doing by clicking the Label tab. Click the Use Label checkbox. A label library is provided for customers who want to create a table of commonly used labels. This will be covered in another video. In the Attributes section, select the font, the size, the color, and alignment for the label. You can also select italic or underline, make the text blink on and off, and duplicate the attributes to every state. In the content box, enter the text for the label. This is the text that will appear when the toggle switch object is not pressed. Click the State 1 button 
to enter the text that will appear when the toggle switch is pressed. Click the tracking checkbox if, so that if you decide to move the text inside the object later, it will move the text for both states of the switch simultaneously. Now click OK to place the object on the window by clicking once again inside the window. You can click and drag the object to move it if you need to. Click on the State button in the toolbar to see how the toggle switch will look in both states. Now we will create a numeric input object that reads and writes to a PLC register. You can choose the numeric input object from the toolbar or click Objects, Numeric ASCII, and Numeric Input from the top menu bar. Once selected, the New Numeric Input Objects Properties window opens. You can give it a name in the description box to help identify it later. In the Read Address section, you can select Local HMI or the PLC device that the HMI is connected to in order to access the word register you want to write to and monitor. We will choose the PLC that we have set up in the system parameters and Allen Bradley Micrologics. The device type allows you to choose the register and the address allows you to select the specific word in the register. Let's choose N7 and address 100. The notification checkbox enables a feature that will set or clear a user-defined bit anytime a new value is entered in a register using the numeric input object. Click the data entry tab and make sure that use a pop-up keypad is checked and window number 50 keypad integer is selected. This is the default setting for the numeric input object. Click the Numeric Format tab and select the numeric format that you want to use to write to the register and display the data. Click the Shape tab and select System Frame, shape number 5, if it's not already selected. Click the Font tab if you want to change the font attributes of the displayed data. Click OK and place the numeric input object on the window by clicking once again inside the window. You can test what you have done so far by running the offline simulator and see how it works. For more information, click Help in the top menu bar in EasyBuilder and select Help Topics or visit our website at www.maplesystems.com.